Glad to have you with us in the studio. I'm Reese Davis, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Championship this year, we're in Pasadena, California. Before we head down to the field for the coin toss, we'd like to remind you this game is brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coke taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. The road UTSA so lines up to kick, kick this one off, and we're just about set to get underway. The kick is away, and the national championship is underway. He's to the 20. Brought down at the 26. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. Try and scramble, and they get the sack. Boy, Brad, that was a big hit on the quarterback. I'm going to be interested to see how he responds from this hit and whether or not he comes after his offensive lineman and challenges them to start playing a little bit better. From their own 24-yard line, it's second down. And now the ball is loose, and the ball bounces out of bounds. And for Haley, he's just set a new high watermark for career passing yards here. Is he the best quarterback they've ever seen around here? You could make a pretty good argument. The quarterback in the gun with five receivers. He wants it all. And he hauls that one in. Tackle made at the 35-yard line. What a huge letdown by the defense on a big third down play. And that is just inexcusable. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Hit as he threw and he completes it. He's tackled right around the 18-yard line. First down. quickly and he's got his man they can't bring him down and he's in and for Haley that touchdown toss gives him the team's career record in that department here's just another notch in what's been an outstanding career it's sort of hard to comprehend how good he's been for so long Notre Dame with a six-point lead and he adds the extra point so a five-play, 74-yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. Brett, I thought the key to that drive really had a lot to do with the quarterback and the receivers getting in sync, making it very tough for the defense to slow them down. So our score, 7-0. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. Some open feet. Tackle after a decent pickup. The Roadrunners always have guys that are near the top statistically, and that's no exception today. We're really looking forward to watching this kid play. It's second and three. Ball on the 32 yard line. Throws off balance incomplete. Terrific coverage. And when you clog up passing lanes like that, you can force a quarterback to make some poor decisions. Almost got themselves a turnover, too. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. Throws quick to the receiver, and it falls incomplete. Let's see if the momentum from that defensive stand carries over to their offense. And 
it's the offense that takes the field on fourth down. I gotta tell you, I'm really surprised that they aren't gonna just punt this ball away. And they make the stop at the 45. So the option play gets some big yards right there. Yeah, you know, it's amazing how sometimes this guy is able to find the hole and get through. Looks left, intercepted. He's at the 40. He's at the 30. Spectacular play there by the linebacker to come away with that interception. I don't even think the quarterback saw him on that play. He was right there waiting for the ball. First and 10. Ball on the 26-yard line. Notre Dame is up by a touchdown. And he's level at the 16. That's good for a gain of 10 yards. That'll make it seven and inches. The 10, and he's taken down around the five-yard line. Gain of 11 yards. That makes it first and goal. down around the two-yard line. They'll bring him down at about the five-yard line. Loss of three on the play. That makes it third and goal. This is from the five-yard line. It's third and goal. Let's go, let's go. And we got Mike, number 53. Mike, 53. Fires quickly. Touchdown. He makes the PAT. A five-play, 25-yard drive, and it's good for seven points. And Brad, right now, the offensive line just winning the battle in the trenches, opening up some big running lanes. The score now, 14-0. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. And they can forget about returning this one. This defense has everything. They kind of have that blue-collar, workman-like approach, but they also have a blend of tremendous speed to go along with that work ethic. And the better they play, they seem to feed off of it, and it continues throughout the whole ballgame. Throws complete. He's got room to work. And he's tackled at about the 31. That'll make it second and four. They're about four yards away here on second down. Man, watch out here. Tackle at the 36 yard line. Tries to fit it in there, and it'll be intercepted. And down he goes around the 45 yard line. Well, that's exactly what this defensive coordinator wanted to see. Somebody come up with a big play. Right when it looked like this team might be able to get back in the game, they come up with the big interception and maintain the momentum here in the first half. He's taken down at the 43. A two-yard run by the halfback. That makes it second and eight. Come on. He gets rid of this one. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. Third down, and they need to get it down to the 35. Gets 
to that, and he's met immediately. Drop back four yards on that one. Well, that play was sort of out of sync from the start, but you have to also recognize that the defense made a great play. They read it from the get-go. Anderson, he's got a chance to put the defense in great position. They can pin their ears back and come after the quarterback. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. So this one goes into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. Notre Dame's got people flying all over the field on defense right now. Boy, they sure do. Right now, we're just seeing great defensive effort. They have a plan. They understand it. They're playing with great speed, and they're not giving up big plays. That's why they're playing well up to this point. In the shotgun and five wideouts. Under heavy pressure, and he's immediately tackled. There was a defender right in his face that time. Yeah, but great concentration by the receiver to come away with this ball. Nice job. Offense lines up in a five-wide set in a defense, anticipating pass here. Throws and it's incomplete. You know, sometimes the toughest throws to make for a quarterback is when he has a wide receiver wide open. And everybody in the stands is saying, throw it, throw it. And you aim the football instead of just getting back in rhythm, stepping, and throwing. And that time, he aimed the ball and it was incomplete. Fires incomplete. That was textbook coverage by the defense. That's exactly what you want to do on every single pass play, but it doesn't always happen. Third and 10 coming up. Ball on their own 37. He might have a chance. Down the sideline to the 20. Touchdown, Roadrunners. And he hits the PAT. A four-play, 80-yard drive, and they get it in for seven. Boy, that is scoring in a hurry. This offense is looking more and more explosive. So the score now... 14-7. UTSA is lining up to kick this one off. He really got a hold of that kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The defense really shut these guys down the last time they had the ball. Notre Dame up seven points. the middle for a nice game. Game of five yards. That brings up second and five. Roger, Roger. Let's go, let's go. Mike, number 53. Shift, shift. He goes out of bounds at the 33-yard line. That's a gain of three on the play. That'll bring up third and two. Nice run there. Brad, I think they're showing a lot of confidence in this running back. Here's third down and medium. In some cases, you might be thinking that the offense would want to pass, but instead they give it to their back, and he shows that they're not wrong in being able to pick up that first down. Caught open field. And he's finally shoved out at the 32. That makes it first and ten. Get to that quickly. Brought down in the open field. Call it a game of 20 yards. First down. He's got another one. Touchdown, Irish. And he tacks on the extra point. It was a six-play, 76-yard drive, and a touchdown as a result. So our score, 21-7. They line up to kick this one away. 
excellent kick. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. It's not quite a blowout, but unless they do something here, it might turn into one. Tackles him hard at the 33. That's good for him to lead goals. That makes it second and two. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Here they come. He gets hit out of bounds at the 29-yard line. it fly complete he's got an opening inside the 30 and he scores touchdown he splits the uprights with the extra point it was a quick three-play, 76-yard drive, and they add seven points to the scoreboard. Well, Brad, right now this offense is hot, and they also took advantage of some mistakes there by the defense. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. This is my kind of game. We're getting a chance to see so many touchdowns. I just wonder if this offense can continue the flow that we've seen from the previous three series. These guys came up with a touchdown on their last drive, and they'll be hoping for another six on the board here. Great passing was the key for the offense the last time they had the ball. They were able to pick apart the defense and get down the field for a touchdown. He's in trouble. He gets sacked on the play. They get to the quarterback and end that play before it even got started. This young man didn't even have a chance to make something happen. It's tough to find your receivers when the defense is in your face like that. So the sack makes this a second and long. Notre Dame is up seven. He scrambled. Tackle made at the 22-yard line. Call it a gain of five yards. That'll make it third and 13. a great tackle at the 16-yard line. That's a loss of six yards. That makes it fourth and long. The sack makes this a fourth and very long. Kerr back deep to return. And this one is a beauty. Tries to get around the corner. He makes it out to maybe the 49-yard line. I think we saw the effects of what a long drive can do to a defense the last time this offense was out on the field. They took that football and drove the length of the field to put points up on the board. I think it really started to affect not only just the, the psyche of this defense, but maybe even the conditioning where they started to get a little bit fatigued. Game seven on the play. That'll bring up second and three. Man left, man left. Two down, two down. 91 is the mic. Throws it in a hurry. He's at the 30. The 10. He scores. What a play. Here's the PAT to tie this thing up. And he converts the extra point. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He 
sends this one deep. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. They've got to play with some focus and smarts here. They don't want to make a mistake and suddenly find themselves trailing. He's tackled right around the 46-yard line. The national championship has been neck and neck as our first quarter ends. Set to resume action here in quarter number two. Deadlock after the first 15 minutes. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. Call it a gain of four yards. That makes it second and six. Four down, four down. Let's go, let's go. Here we got Mike, number 53. Mike, 53. Harrison takes the give. with room to work out of bounds right around midfield that'll make it fourth and six Anderson is waiting for the snap it's away and it's a booming punt little too much leg into that punt they'll bring it out to the 20 This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. And they make the stop at the 22. Gets to about the 41 yard line. That makes it first and ten. First down, ten yards to go. Ball on the 41 yard line. And he's level at the 41 yard line. the middle of seven yards. that'll bring up second and three second down and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down zips it to the back and he's tackled right away He's on the run. Here they come. Quick throw out to the receiver. Incomplete. Oliver was the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and ten. From the 28-yard line, it's second down. They're running, man. Let's go, let's go. Now he tries to buy some time. Fires out quick. It's picked off. And this could be a big return. And he hits him hard at the 39. He telegraphed that throw. He eyed his receiver the whole way. That was an easy read by the defense. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. Fires 
quick to an open man. He dropped it. Number 85, the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and ten. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 39-yard line. And he's tackled at the 30. Davis makes the tackle at the 30-yard line. That'll make it third and one. Four down, four down. Let's go, let's go. And we got Mike, number 53. Mike, 53. Get him, get him, the middle got his tight end they'll bring him down at about the 17 yard line that makes it first and ten delivers to the halfback on the screen tackle at the 17 yard line Nicely thrown ball and a good job by the receiver to run right under it. Looks to the back and can't connect. From the seven yard line, second down. was just smash mouth, helmet to chin football by the defensive line there. They dominated the point of attack. We're at play number nine of this current drive. They come out in an empty backfield. Under pressure. Quick throw in the end zone, touchdown. He makes the PAT. So an eight play, 40 yard drive, and they put up seven points. Brad, how about the guys up front? The offensive line giving the quarterback plenty of time to be able to read the defense and make the right throw. The score now, 28-21. He's to the 10. And he just got stood up right there. And for Parks, it's been one of those days he'd like to forget. Well, I think even though he's a senior quarterback, you're still going to have games like this. The most important thing is he's got some experience to fall back on to realize that, hey, I can still get through this game and still be successful despite these mistakes. Six-yard line. It's first and ten. Ball on the 36-yard line. Tosses left. Intercepted. He's taken down at the 50-yard line. It's the safety who's in the right place at the right time. The quarterback has to know where the safety is when he makes this kind of throw. Right here, he just tried to force something that wasn't there. Notre Dame is up by a touchdown. He's at the 40. And he's taken down around the 24-yard line. Game of 26 yards. First down. Down he goes at the 21. Three-yard gain by the running back. 
That makes it second and six. Check. Fires out to his wideout. Tackle made at the 11. That's good for a gain of 10 yards. That makes it first and 10. Right left, right left. Two down, two down. 26 mark, 26 mark. 36 mark. Tackled after decent pickup. So the defense has had enough of the no huddle as they call a timeout. Harrison gets six yards on the carry. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. I'm coming. Let's go, let's go. Here we got Mike, number 53. Down, Mike, Drop it up. They'll drop him for a loss. Never really had a shot. They were on him almost as soon as he took the handoff. That makes it 37. Makes a catch, and he's got nowhere to go. Martin picks him up about three yards with a catch. They're going to go for the easy three here. Notre Dame is up a score. He gets it up, and it is good. Davis. Get set to kick this one away. Nice kick, plenty of distance. Kirk, the way these offenses are playing, it's like NCAA football 14, EA Sports. It's all over the place. Brad, this reminds me and me and you last night with the with the controllers in our hands and both of us putting up points, even though you did a nice job there for a beginner partner. They threw a pick the last time out. Should be interesting to see what they do this time. The first rule on offense is to take care of the football. These guys need to remember that on this track. Excellent open field tackle. Call it a gain of six yards. That'll make it second and four. They're about four yards away here on second down. They'll spread the field with five wide. Caught out of the open. He's tackled at the 42. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five-wide outlook. Quick throw, incomplete. One of his receiver. That makes it second and ten. Second and ten. Ball on their own 42. Pitches it, he's got the corner, runs it right, nice pickup. And the option to the halfback, gets six yards. UTSA will take a timeout, that's their second of the half. Big opening, slides down to the ground. He's going to come up with a sack. Roadrunners using their third and last timeout. And for Morgan, that sack was his fifth of the year. He really fought to get to the quarterback that time. He's certainly shown that he can get it done on a week-to-week -week basis. They find themselves in a hole here after that sack. It's second and long. They come out in a five-wide set. Now he's flushed, and they got it. But the defense is fired up, responding and reacting to that sack. Not only did they get the quarterback, but they hit him and hit him hard. I think that can really create some confidence for this defense. The next time this quarterback drops back to throw, you got to be thinking he's going to be a little bit gun shy and concerned about the pressure that these defense is putting on him. And this is the eighth play of the drive. And he got it to the sophomore. And he will score. Here's the extra point to draw within three points. 
And he adds the extra point. It was an eight-play, 76-yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He just drills this one. And he's tackled at the 24-yard line. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Notre Dame is up a field goal. Just throws this one away. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. That's a great tackle. It's a 39-yard line. Notre Dame's going to take their first time out of the half. That makes it first and 10. From their own 39-yard line. First down. He's under pressure. Throws complete and he's hit right away. Notre Dame's going to have to use their second time out of the half. That makes it second and two. He goes out of bounds at the 49. So he finds his tight end for the catch and a first down. Nice throw and catch there to get past the sticks. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 49. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. He zips it. That close to being intercepted. Smart, heady play by that defender. That was solid, fundamental pass defense. it up the gut and he shoved out of bounds at the 34 yard line that's good for a gain of 17 yards first down first and 10 ball on the 34 yard line Notre Dame holds a field goal lead This quarterback is tough as nails. Brad, he's going to sit in that pocket and give himself a chance. The only problem is, at some point, you've got to have a feel. Almost that sixth sense on when to get out of there and avoid the pressure, or just to throw the ball before you get hit. And this play is number eight on the drive. The kick is away. It's long enough. You can feel it in the air tonight as we're only one half away from crowning the national champions. Our halftime score. All right, Reese Davis and David, welcome back, everybody. Just about set to start the second half. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And they can forget about returning this one. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. And he carries the ball for a nice game. Johnson gains seven yards on that play. That'll bring up second and three. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. They make the stop at the 35-yard line. That's good for a of three yards. That makes it first and ten. He's on the run. Decides to slide. You talk about a dual threat guy. This guy can hurt you in the air or on the ground.
We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 50-yard line. Throws and it's incomplete. That would be the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and ten. Man left, man left. Three down, three down. Let's go, let's go. Fakes it and the quarterback scrambles. And he's tackled at the 47 yard line. That's a game of three on the play. That makes it 37. They've got all their DBs in there to match up against the five wide set. Nice pitch and catch for the first down. They'll bring him down at the 34. Makes it to the 32-yard line. That's a gain of two on the play. That makes it second and eight. Number 15 is in at quarter. From the 32-yard line. Second down. Johnson gains around six yards on the run. That'll bring up 32. It's third down, and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. Slides down. This kind of execution from an offense can really affect the defense and their psyche. That's the second time on this drive alone they've been able to convert on a third down. This defense has got to be able to kind of gather themselves and try to find some confidence. And somebody on that defense has got to be able to make a play to slow this offense down. Room around the corner. Nice run, and he's brought down. Smith picks up five with the carry. That brings up second and five. And this is the 11th play of the current drive. Three down, three down. Let's go, let's go. He makes it to the 15-yard line. Call it a gain of two yards. That'll bring up third and four. They've been two for two on third downs in this drive, and they'll try to convert again here. Pressure coming. The 10 slides down to the ground. Brad, you just don't see this very often anymore in college football. That is their fifth first down on this drive alone. They have great rhythm right now as an offense. And look at that poor defense. They're looking over to the sidelines to the defensive coordinator for some help. They need to change things up. First and goal from the five and looking to cap this off with a touchdown. Nice run up the middle. Smith gets six yards on the play. This is the 14th play of this drive. They're packed in tight on the line. Touchdown, Roadrunners. He splits the uprights with the extra point. It was a 14-play, 75-yard drive, and a touchdown as a result. Boy, this offense right now is just being physical, really controlling the line of scrimmage, and it's opening up some nice big lanes for the running backs. He sends this one deep. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback.
There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. Brought down at the 28-yard line. Call it a gain of three yards. That'll make it second to seven. That's good for a gain of two yards. That'll make it three. Double tight, double tight. Double tight. Going down, going down. Let's go, let's go. Here we got Mike. Come on. Edge, edge. Now he's scrambling, and they got it. Man, these guys can be aggressive. When you stand back there and take hits like that, you definitely are going to feel it the next day. So no luck on that drive as they go three and out. This is a great punt blocking team, and it looks like they're going to try to get to this one. Booming kick. Tries to get around the corner. He's to the 40. He's pushed out of bounds at the 45 yard line. They ran the ball very well on their last drive, and it resulted in six. UTSA is up four. Nice run to the outside. A five-yard pickup by the halfback on the misdirection. That'll make it second and four. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Decides to slide, so he keeps it, and he gets a big first down. The quarterback made a very good decision here not to pitch. He saw a break in the defense and just hit it for a big game. Lost the ball, fumble. Gets out to around the 32. Wow, the receiver had a big play on his mind, and he forgot about securing the football. I'm sure he'll hear all about that in practice from his coaches and teammates. This group of receivers is a competitive bunch, and they don't let each other get away with mistakes like that. Lucky for him, the offense recovered at that time. Makes the catch, and the defense is all over him. They bring him down for a loss. So it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go. Hey, watch the slant. By 52, by 52. Up the middle for a nice game. Pretty good gain on the play by the halfback. Good running and a strong push to get into the second level of that defense. back and he's got space and down he goes at the six first down and they've got their eyes on that goal line UTSA holds a four-point lead touchdown Roadrunner Converts the extra point. Hawkins is lined up to kick this one off. Sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Roadrunners' defense really looked pathetic in that first half, Kirk, and now they're doing a nice job. Well, obviously, they've made some adjustments after the first half, and it's paid off for them. I think right now they're tuned in to what this offense is trying to do, and I think they're also just playing a little bit more of a chip on their shoulder. And 
and he's taken down around the 38-yard line. That makes it first and ten. And a quick throw. He's at midfield. He's taken down at the 31. Boy, great time to go with the play action. The defense was anticipating run. They came up to stop the ball carrier. The quarterback was able to find his receiver downfield. He makes a big time play and a great catch for a first down. Tackle made at about the 29 yard line. A two yard run by the halfback. Fights forward to about the 26. Gain of three on the play. That'll it's not it over yet, folks. We head to the fourth quarter. The Roadrunners in front by 11. Welcome back to the action here as we resume play here in quarter number four. Got some open field. Touchdown, Notre Dame. They'll go for two in this situation. And they won't get the two. It was a five-play, 75-yard drive. And they get six points on the board after failing the two-point conversion. And Brad, you're going to move the ball at will when you're able to execute the pass game like that. Those big plays eventually are going to lead you to touchdown. He really got a hold of that kick. The Roadrunners are on a roll right now, an absolute roll. 21 straight points, and the defense has no answer for it. Still a lot of football to go here in the fourth quarter, but if they score here, they give themselves some breathing room. at the 48. They go with the option and pick up the first down. Yeah, and that was a situation where the quarterback knew he could pick up the first down if he kept it himself. That's a good decision. From their own 48-yard line. First down. Play action. He airs it out. In and out of his hands. to the tight end and that ball's incomplete. His receiver didn't have much of a chance to make a play on the ball, so credit the defender for breaking it up. Third down now and they need to get it inside the 42. Gets rid of it quickly and that was almost picked. Was the intended receiver on the play? That'll make it fourth and ten. Fountain is back to receive. It's a short kick. Notre Dame's had a really hard time establishing any kind of rhythm on offense today. Yeah, and we're so used to seeing that from them. They might want to go back and, and look at this film and try to study to see what they didn't do well because this is not uh, the type of offense you'd expect to see from these guys. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. Fires it out. He breaks it. He's tackled around the 33-yard line. Brought down after a nice 
run up the middle. Game of five yards. That makes it first and ten. Here's a give up the middle, tackled right away. No game on the play. That makes it second and ten. Tight end right. Tight end right. Hold down, hold down. Let's go, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Check, 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 check. There's another pass to the tight end, and he's got it. And he is drilled at the 47. He makes the tackle at the 47-yard line. That'll make it third and one. Gains his way to the 39-yard line. Call the game of 14 yards. First down. Makes it up the middle for a nice run. Gain of four on the play. That makes it second and six. From the 35-yard line, it's second down. Three down, three down. Let's go, let's go. Get down. Here we go. And they make the stop at the 25-yard line. Man on the tackle at the 25-yard line. First down. Backs got it on the quick throw. And he's tackled in the open field. Walker on the tackle at the 12 yard line. That makes it first and 10. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. That's a gain of four on the play. That makes it second and six. Right, 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 right. Three down, three down. Let's go, let's go. Here we got Mike. They'll make the sack. A defensive end with this kind of speed is an offense's worst nightmare. He's got the ability to collapse the pocket on any given pass play. And as a play caller, you constantly have to be aware of him. Whether you're going to roll away from him or you're going to chip with a tight end or a running back, you're constantly concerned and aware of a big, strong defensive end. The quarterback in the gun, empty backfield, five wide receivers in the formation. And he's tackled at the nine. That was a good pass and catch there, but still not enough for the first down. That's not an easy conversion here on third down for the offense. All the defense has to do is stay back, keep everything in front of them, come up and make a tackle. Looks like they're going to go for it on fourth down. Touchdown! And that puts them on top. So they'll go for two here and try to go up by a field goal. Notre Dame up a point. They don't get it. So the two-point conversion is no good. Here they try to put the ball in the air. Unfortunately, they were unable to convert. The Fighting Irish Davis, ready to kick. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And they can forget about returning this one. Well, this is a competitive game. It's fun to watch these two teams go back and forth. Just when you think one team has the edge, the other gets right back into it. This is exciting. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. Let's go, let's go. Ready? What? Eighty? What? Motion, motion, motion. And they get nice yardage on that run. From their own 29-yard line. It's second down. Oh, 
He gets out to about the 37-yard line. to fit it in there and it'll be intercepted he's at the 40 he might have a chance for the 20 they'll bring him down around the 14 yard line Notre Dame's got some new faces on the roster that they're expecting some big things from partner and you know that's what's great about college football new faces every year unexpected stars and the newcomers are kind of splashing out of the scene first down 10 yards to go ball on the 14 yard line he almost had it, but it's incomplete. That's just a great play to separate the ball from the receiver. He'll be feeling that hit tomorrow. Notre Dame with a one-point lead. Quick throw to the tight end. Brought down at the eight. Six on the play. That'll bring up third and four. And he tackles him hard. The seven yard line. That's a game of one on the play. That brings up fourth and three. This one should be makeable. It's up, and they tack on three points. They line up to kick this one away. Excellent kick. He's to the 10. He's to the 20. Across the 30. He's knocked out of bounds at the 49-yard line. You know the offense will be looking to do better this time out. Giving the ball away can rattle your confidence, but he just needs to relax and not try to force it. He's starting off in great field position now. That's a great tackle at the 49. The running back gets a yard, maybe less. That was a great hit by the defender. He just drove the ball carrier right to the ground. From the 49-yard line. Second down. Gets out to around the 38. Just under three to go in regulation. Gets out to around the 28. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 28-yard line. Defense goes with the extra defensive backs as the offense comes up five wide. And down he goes at about the 17-yard line. He had a couple of freight trains coming at him, but when they blitzed, it created a hole in the coverage, and they took advantage of it. Man left, man left. Down, down. 91 is the mic. Touchdown, and now they're in front. Nice catch by the receiver for the touchdown. Anytime you're near the red zone, you got to keep an eye for this guy. They love going to him down here. Trying to go up by three. They'll kick the extra point. And he hits the PAT. Hawkins has his kick team lined up, and he is set to kick this one off. Nice kick, plenty of distance. 
and it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. For UTSA, they've been getting into the backfield quite a bit. This aggressive defense has enjoyed multiple sacks tonight. This offense hasn't had any trouble moving the ball on the ground. Yeah, the secondary and linebackers aren't able to make a play at the point of catch a lot of times. He's got it with room to run. He's out of bounds right around the 32-yard line. That'll bring up second and three. A little more than two minutes to go in the fourth quarter. And they get him in the backfield for a loss. So they end up with a loss after calling the draw. He started out rushing the passer and then just got lucky and ran right into the running back on the draw. Pulls it in and he's in the open field. He gets hit out of bounds. Right around the 38-yard line. And the big pickup through the air has made it first and ten. Three down, three down. Let's go, let's go. Here we got Mike. There he goes. He gets to about the 24-yard line. Being 14 yards. That makes it first and ten. Play. Taken down in the backfield. Loss of two yards on the play. That'll bring up second and 12. From the 26 yard line. Second down. Go with a screen here, and the halfback's got it. And he's taken down at the 26-yard line. Just a huge stop right there here late in the fourth quarter in a game this tight. That might be one we look back on later and say that won the ball game. Big kick here. This would most likely bring the game to overtime. A miss, and this game is over. There's the timeout we were all expecting. We have less than a minute to go. They'll try to ice him with a timeout here. Gets it up and it's long enough, and he splits the uprights. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He just drills this one. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. Late in the fourth quarter now, game is tied. Which coach can outcoach the other? It's a chess match right now. Nice run there. And he couldn't manage to get out of bounds and stop the clock. Well, let's see how that affects them here in this situation. So it's second down now. They need about four yards to pick up the first. for four quarters and now it'll take overtime to decide our national champion. He 
makes it out to maybe the 23-yard line. A two-yard run by the halfback. One thing about this linebacker over the years that separates him from the rest are his instincts and ability to make the play. That's a nice tackle by the senior. It's second down, eight to go. Ball on the 23. Makes it to the 22-yard line. The offense going to try to open this field up, coming out in a five-wide set. And the defense counters with their dime look. Fires quickly, and he's got his man. Touchdown, Roadrunners. And he adds the extra point. From the 25-yard line, first down, five wide. in there got it touchdown we've seen a great performance by this quarterback breaking the school record for most touchdown passes in the game the extra point to tie this game up he splits the uprights with the extra point the excitement continues here, folks, as we'll go to a second overtime to decide our national champion. First and 10, ball on the 25. Interception off the deflection. It's first and ten. Ball on the 25-yard line. Nice run up the middle. Johnson gains seven yards on that play. That'll bring up second and three. Kick is up, and he got it. Well, the defense got the stop, and now this young man has very coolly come through to put the W in his team's win column. Is this great or what? And this one's all but wrapped up with the final score, UTSA 59, Notre Dame 56. As we finish up the broadcast, what do you have to say about how this game turned out, Kirk? We have just witnessed the closest hard-fought national championship game I have ever seen. My hat goes off to both of these schools. And when it ends like this, you really hate to call one team a winner and one team a loser. Both teams were winners here tonight. Here's a look at our player of the game. EA Sports will donate $10,000 in his name to his school's general scholarship fund. For the Roadrunners, they remain undefeated. And for Notre Dame, this loss will put a damper on what's been a great year.